Wow, there it is. To be able to do this, to, to bring my father home, I'm very, very honored and, and very lucky. How many people would ever have this kind of opportunity to do this? This is awesome. At the end of the war, I remember as a kid watching every single POW come off those airplanes, and I watched every one of them. Your job and your duty as a family and as a child is to have hope. But as a kid, what you really think is if you don't do that, you're somehow going to be responsible for him being lost. As you probably noticed, a little bit of uh, activity going off on the right side of the aircraft. He's taking uh, one of our servicemen home. Dallas. 52 years in coming. This particular service known as January of 1967, last time I saw my father, I was five years old. And that was at Love Field in Dallas, Texas. When I first got the call, you know, it was it was almost surreal because I I really didn't think it would ever happen. Wow, you know, he's really coming home. He's really, we're gonna be able to bring him back. And we're gonna have a place where we can honor him. Southwest 1220, we got a message for you. I'm ready, sir. Uh, on behalf of Regional Approach, we welcome your father, Colonel Knight, home. While he's gone, he will never be forgotten. It's uh, very touching, you know, everything that I've gotten from all the people in Southwest Airlines that have done so much to make this happen. It's, it's been overwhelming. The pilot that flew you in today was that same five-year-old boy who was left here at Love Field 52 years ago with his dad to say goodbye. The support and all that's happened, you know, it's just been phenomenal. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of my company right now. I'm so proud of Southwest Airlines for what they've done to make this happen. Oh my gosh, thank you.